Okay guys, antivirus software. Now we all know about it, we know why we need it, but let's just talk a little bit more about what antivirus software is. Now I'm sure you've seen all kinds of programs and applications that are there to protect your computer from viruses. But it's good to, uh, to know what a virus is, what it does, how it works, and why we need antivirus software. Now personally, myself, I don't use any specific antivirus software. I am on Windows 10, and I just use the built-in Windows Defender, and I've actually been fine. I mean, I don't download stuff I shouldn't download. I don't download hacked files or hacked programs and stuff. So I'm actually not worried. And I know that Windows Defender works very well. And it has protected me in the past from various things. So let's have a look and see. We start off with our little file. There's our little worm up over there. Okay, that's uh, a typical virus. We call it, like a, we call it a worm. Why? Because worms can replicate. And that's what a virus file does. Its purpose is to keep replicating itself so that it can cause absolute havoc on your machine. Now, if you look at some of these extensions, these file extensions, we have .exe, .bat, .scr, and .com. These are all files, or these are all application files that can actually launch and run code on your computer. So these particular files are pretty dangerous, okay? So a virus would normally or typically have an extension like this. Now don't be fooled because a virus might be disguised like a Trojan virus. It might be disguised as a normal file, a normal file, normal file, normal application, a normal program. Okay? It could be like a drawing program that you did or a 3D program that you found. And yes, it may look legit but the moment you launch that, it's the code that gets into your system and then destroys everything. All right, so let's have a look and see what does an antivirus program actually do? Well, when a virus is detected on your computer, the purpose of an antivirus program is to stop that virus immediately. And how does it do that? How does it actually stop that virus from destroying your machine? Two ways, guys. The first one is this. Quarantine. Have you ever heard of quarantine? If you get really, really sick and you are very infectious and uh, you go to hospital, they will put you in what's called quarantine. That means they put you out of the way of everyone else so that you do not infect anyone else. That's what quarantine is. So that is what a virus program would typically do to a computer virus if you instruct it to do so. It finds the virus, it says there is a virus. Normally, it will quarantine it so that you can then take further action. Otherwise, it just removes the virus completely, destroys it, kills it, annihilates it. Okay, like that guy, girl thing, samurai person. All right. So what is a virus actually? Well, guys, a virus is simply a program. That's all that it is. It's a program. And in that program, there is particular code. That code creates what we call a digital signature. Now, the digital signature gives us a program or a file, and that then is recognized by your antivirus program. However, if there is suddenly a slight change in the code, so someone else has taken a program, changed it, changed the code, put new code into it, so it's similar, but it's not quite the same, 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 you know what I mean, that one, then it's got a new digital signature, and that is now a new virus. So it is super important to update your virus program regularly. All right, most of them update automatically by themselves, which is great, and you do want that. But if you don't have that, rather make sure that you update it at least every day, guys. I'm serious. Because the moment you have a new virus, your antivirus program is out of date. Unless it is updated with a new database of definitions or signatures of the new viruses.